Hey guys, what's up? This is Simon Marshall here. Today we're going to do a video on my 2009 WWE pay-per-view collection. So, we're going to start off with this one so far. And uh, it's kind of like the beginning of the PG genre. Alright, ready? Number one, the 2009 WWE Royal Rumble. The all-star cast are on there. This was in Detroit, Michigan at the Joe Louis Arena. The main event, main event was actually the 30-man over-the-top Battle Royal. There's Swagger, Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, Edge, JBL, John Cena, and Shawn Michaels. The World Heavyweight title and the WWE title. This was not bad. WWE No Way Out 2009 up in Seattle, Washington. Not too far from Vancouver, British Columbia. There were two chamber matches. There's the WWE title. There's uh, Big Show, Vladimir Kozlov, Triple H, Edge, Jeff Hardy, Undertaker, Shane McMahon, Randy Orton, Shawn Michaels, JBL, Swagger, and Finley are missing. So from Raw, Edge, Jericho, Cena, Mysterio, Kane, and Mike Knox, believe it or not. So. Here we go, uh, let's check it out. Now we have the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. JBL, Big Show, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, John Cena, Kane, HBK, Mark Henry, Chris Jericho. I would have replaced R-Truth with uh, none other than Matt Hardy. Because Matt Hardy was at WrestleMania, he was not. There's Jeff Hardy, Triple H, Undertaker, Edge... CM Punk and MVP, and uh, believe it or not, actually, the main event was not bad. There's the world title and the WWE title, the WWE Hall of Famers, that took place up in Houston, Texas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look what I finally got in the mail. WWE Backlash with Randy Orton. This was the last Backlash in 2009 history. Because believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, uh, people said this was uh, outbeats WrestleMania. Triple H, Batista, Shane McMahon, Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, and Ted Jr. versus yeah, Legacy versus WWE, Cena versus Edge in the last best standing match. Pretty damn good match. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the last but not least. Judgment Day 2009 took place up in Chicago, Illinois. Coma CM Punk. So, there's Batista, Randy Orton, Edge, Jeff Hardy, Swagger, there's uh, John Cena, Christian, Chris Jericho, Mysterio, and Punk. Yeah, that's sad that, you know, they got changed as you all know it's over the limit and extreme rules or no over the limits history now now 2009 extreme rules took place in New Orleans Louisiana on here there's uh, I believe there is a lay mass steel cage match ladder match triple threat hardcore rules match no holds barred match a submission, Fatal 4 Ways, Samoan Strap, and a Hog Pin. I would have traded that steel cage for the Devil's Playground, Hell in the Cell. So, this was a, an alright, okay pay-per-view. Um, if you're wondering, if you notice what's missing, uh, leave me a comment down below, okay? Write down, say, how come I don't have it, and I'll tell you right at the end. Okay, next... Night of Champions in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Brotherly Love, Kofi Kingston, U.S. Champ, Mysterio, Intercontinental Champ, Orton, WWE Champ, and CM Punk, World Heavyweight Title. So, on here that night, the Unified Tag Team Titles, the Divas, the Women's Title, Intercontinental, USA, ECW, WWE Title, and the World Title were all put on the line, so... Every title was on that match card, so it was not bad. And that's at uh, well known as, I think, Well Fargo Center in Philly. 
Yeah, that's home of uh, WrestleMania 15. Now, the 2009 SummerSlam. There is John Cena, Randy Orton, The Great Cully, CM Punk, MVP, DX, Chris Jericho, The Big Show, Jeff Hardy, Rey Mysterio. Yeah, as you all know, uh, two, there was quite a few people missing out of there. So there's uh, my favorite match was actually the main event itself, the TLC. Hardy vs. Punk for the, de- the World Heavyweight title, which was at Staples Center, Los Angeles, California. So, as you all know, we're all getting sick and tired of SummerSlam being in Los Angeles for the last, I don't know, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, six years now. they got to start changing their locations. I mean, it feels like Hollywood does not want, uh, what the hell is it, WrestleMania. I mean, you got to... Start changing your location because I would love to see WrestleMania at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum and start putting the Hall of Fame inside the Staples Center. Anyways, let's move on. The one and only WWE Breaking Point 2009. Believe it or not, there are three uh, specialty matches. There's a tag team submission uh Anywhere's match, an I Quit match, and a Via Submission match for the World Heavyweight title. This took place up in my home country, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And there's Cena, Orton, Punk, Undertaker, Legacy, and DX. As you all know, this took place at the Bell Center. Same spot where all the fans couldn't let go and couldn't grow up on. You screwed, Brett. But hey... Bret Hart was finally back home uh, a few months later. So, four months later after Breaking Point, he finally came back to the WWE. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the first ever WWE Hell in a Cell took place in, believe it or not, Newark, New Jersey, which is the subdivision of East Rutherford, New Jersey. There are three Hell in a Cell matches. Two of them. One for the world title, one for the WWE title. The other one is just a regular uh, tag team match, which is not bad, as you all know. I love this structure, you know, and it's changed now. I miss The Undertaker, and, you know, I miss seeing them inside Hell in a Cell, so not bad. Next, this was the first ever WWE bragging rights. As you all know, the theme was blue and red because bragging is the SmackDown logo, rights is the Raw logo. So, fatal four way for the World Heavyweight title. There's Taker, Punk, Batista, and Mysterio. And then on the bottom, my all time favorite, a one hour Iron Man match Orton versus Cena for the WWE title. And as you all know, this took place in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, right at the old, old Melon Arena, which is now demolished in history. Now, we head to Washington, D.C. for the WWE Survivor Series. There's Triple H and Shawn Michaels, DX members, as you all know. And on here, there are not one, not two, but Three traditional Survivor Series matches. And believe it or not, there's a triple threat World Heavyweight title match and a triple threat WWE title match. This took place at the Verizon.com Center in Washington, D.C. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the first ever WWE TLC Tables, Ladders, and Chairs. Cena was behind the tables because he had a tables match for the WWE title. Michaels and Jericho, that picture of them on the ladder, that was from No Mercy 09. And that was for the World Heavyweight title back then. But on this one, it's uh, Jericho versus DX for the Unified Tag Team titles. And Undertaker behind the chairs on the chairs match for the World Heavyweight title. And now... On the back, there's Jericho, DX, Cena, Sheamus, Undertaker, Batista, Benjamin, and Christian. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
There was a ladder match for the ECW title. There was a tables match for the WWE title. Uh, chairs match for the World Heavyweight title. And then in the main event, main event was an actual, my favorite, TLC. Tables, ladders, and chairs match for the Unified Tag Team title. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is missing out of the collection? Alright, my confession is the Lame Ass Bash 2009. That was one of the shittiest, stupidest pay-per-views in WWE history. The worst one ever in my life. And you know what? There was a lot of bad things. Like, the cards on there were shitty. I mean, the three stages of hell? Fuck it, you know? That's why I call it Legacy Killed the Shittiest Pay-Per-View in WWE History. And that is... That's why I call it the lame ass bash. And Marcus is there as usual. You know the black guy? We call him the evil Kobe Bryant. You know, honestly, he's got to be the richest black man ever. I mean, if I had a nickel every time I heard it, I mean, he should be a millionaire. I mean, Marcus, you should go to UFC for Christ's sake. I mean, stop going to these lame ass pay-per-views. You know, he's from Texas and... He's in 09. He was at No Way Out. WrestleMania 25. Uh, the Lay Bass Bash. He was in... Uh, oh, where the hell did he go? Uh, oh, shit. He went to... Uh, oh, yeah. Survivor Series in Washington, D.C. Even uh, TLC in uh, San Antonio, Texas. And then he was in Atlanta for the... Royal Rumble, so that's my collection, everybody. Uh, if I ever had the bash, I'll just crack that DVD in half and you know, burn that picture to death because they got rid of the name The Great American, which is stupid. So that's my collection, everybody. And I want to say this is Simon Marshall saying thanks for watching.